The legendary children's book author out with his first book for adults. Diane Macedo sat down with Mo Willems, who has wisdom for us all from his career filled with best-selling children's books. Mo, thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited for you, but I'm also excited for me because I love your book so much, so this is cool. Thank you. How do you feel 20 years after your book came out, your first children's book, to still be talking about that story now and how it's impacted not only children but adults too? It's phenomenal. It's very exciting. I mean, 20 years is a very long time. For instance, count to three. One, two, three. 20 years is longer than that. <laughs> it is, that's so for sure. So it is a long time. But uh, I love the idea that kids and grown-ups are reading together. And that's what I was really hoping to do. I was hoping to create this environment where kids can yell no and kids can want to draw because the pigeon is easy to draw. And then grown-ups would get a shame act to me that grown-ups would start to read, they are the orchestra of the symphony, mm -hmm. and that they would read with more vim and vigor and yell as well and be silly. Because when you have a child in your life, it's an opportunity to be silly again, to rediscover even the healing power of being ludicrous from time to time. The power of play, it's so yes, important. Absolutely. And we often lose it when we have little ones because we're so consumed by just keeping all the plates spinning that right. sometimes we forget to play with our kids. And I love that your books inspire that. What was your reaction to seeing this story that started in your head become this classic? Well, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus was born in a little sketchbook. My wife decided to read these sketchbooks to kids because she was a lower school librarian at the time. And she was the one who told me, like, I think this is a children's book. And where it became a children's book was this idea of letting the kid be in charge, letting the kid yell no, letting the kid be rock and roll in that sense. And all of the publishers who saw this now 20 plus years ago, mm. they had the exact same reaction. They said, no, it's unusual. And then there was one publisher who said, you know, maybe unusual is not a pejorative. Well, Unusual clearly paid off in this case. Now you're out with Be the Bus. Yeah. And this is kind of a different take. We've all gotten used to the story about the pigeon. We fell in love with the pigeon. Right. And now we're looking at this from a different perspective entirely. Well, kids have now grown up. They're starting to have their own families. They grew up with the pigeon. And the pigeon is also growing up. So he decided to write his own book of pigeonisms his own philosophical musings. Uh, so for Be the Bus, I'm just the translator. Now, one of the things that we like to do in all of our books is to create these little bits of surprise and delight. So do you mind giving me the Be the Bus? Here? Please, yeah. So there's always going to be a secret, and we haven't actually told anybody about this. This oh, is the cover, the right? But when you take off the cover, it's a pigeon. Oh, cute. So the idea behind every book that we make is there is a surprise and delight and that you will be the one who discovers the surprise and delight. Why is that attention to detail so important to you? Oh, it's fun. And it shows that you care, right? I don't want my books to be read. I want them to be played. I want my books to be a spark for creativity. You look at the pigeon. It's a very simple drawing. Oh, I could draw that. You read Don't Let the Pigeon Blank, and you go, oh, I could write a story about that. And now you're on this sort of journey of creativity. And when you discover something like this, seeing that the book is a pigeon, then you start to play with the form of making a book. Even the inside of your cover yes. is a whole other design. That's exactly right. It's like a little poster. A book is a sculpture. And if you just think of books as a page, like there's a first page or whatever, you're forgetting the experience. The experience for a kid is holding this physical thing. One of the interesting things about reading the Pigeon book is that role reversal. Right? Mm. Kids are so used to being told no yes, all the time. Always. And now they get to see this character who's asking to do things that, you know, we could all agree probably shouldn't be allowed to do. So now with Be the Bus, what are you hoping that we parents get out of this and how can we relay that to our kids as well? I think it is so important to write and draw. To draw is a physicalized form of empathy. When you're drawing, you are thinking about that character or that thing, and you empathize with it. And when you write, you uh, are being creative in a very different way. And there's this thing that happens, usually when a kid is about 10, and they play basketball, and they dance, and they draw, and then one day they stop drawing. And that's because parents don't draw. 
right? Mm. That's because no one's doing it for the fun of it, right? And the idea that basketball is great, you should play basketball your whole life. You should play drawing your whole life. You should play writing your whole life because they're just gonna make you a happier person. They're gonna make you more empathetic. They're gonna allow you to communicate with people better. Um, so this idea of like, you can only draw if you're good, or you can only draw if you're gonna make a living at it, is, it's a shame, mm. is what it is. I mean, we talk about play for the sake of play, drawing and writing for the sake of the drawing and the writing exactly. as well. Exactly. When you look at the, the array of stories that you've written over the past 20 years, mm. now culminating here in Be the Bus. Right. What do you hope people take away from the whole project? So I don't just write books. I write operas. I make abstract paintings. I do things that terrify me. If there is something I don't know about, I want to go out and I want to do it. And I think with Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, I'm seen as a very funny guy. I'm kind of wacky. But you can be a wacky guy and a serious person at the same time. We are all more than one thing. And the way to show your more than one thingness is to go out and to do and to be. Unless you're a pigeon who wants to drive a bus. Uh, that's an insurance question more <laughs> than anything else. Go out and do and be our thanks to Mo Willems for that advice and Diane Macedo as well. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.